I do want to uh, talk just a moment about uh, this honor uh, that we recognize in our Hall of Distinguished Alumni. This honor conveys our highest respect for each of these individuals that we recognize today. They have carried the Western spirit with them throughout their very successful lives, and they truly represent the character of Western Kentucky University. These individuals are a great source of pride for those of us in the Western family and a source of inspiration uh, to present and future generations of Western alumni. Uh, this year's inductees include a longtime football coach, Coach Jimmy Fikes, former journalism department head, David B. Whitaker, and cancer researcher, Dr. Doris Hutchison. These three individuals will join 57 other Western greats inducted since the hall was established in 1992. Uh, Donna Harmon will assist with the presentation of these awards. Now, if you will find a clear view of the screens uh, in the podium, we'll begin the induction of our 2003 Hall of Distinguished Alumni class. And we'll start with Coach Jimmy Fikes. Uh, Jimmy Fikes has been a fixture at Western since arriving on the Hill in 1949. He's been an athlete, a coach, an alumni director, an athletic director, and a lifelong ambassador for Western Kentucky University. As a quarterback, he became the first Hilltopper ever honored as an All-American in football in 1952. He was named to the Ohio Valley Conference team in 1951 and 52, and was named the conferences, to the conference's all-time team in 1988. As a senior in 1952, Coach Fikes guided, guided the Hilltopper, well, he wasn't coached then, actually. Uh, Jimmy Fikes guided the Toppers to the school's first OBC football championship with a 9-1 record and the school's first bowl game appearance where Western defeated Arkansas State 34-19 in the Refrigerator Bowl in Evansville, Indiana. That season, Fikes led the nation's college quarterbacks with a 63.1% completion percentage. He ranked fourth in the country in passing and sixth in total offense. He was drafted by the New York Giants in 1953, but an injury in preseason forced him to give up football. He then went into the Air Force for four years. After four years in the Air Force, he returned to the Hill as an assistant football coach in 1957 and became head coach in 1968. He was named OBC Coach of the Year in 1973, 78, and 1980. He remains the winningest football coach in WKU history. He retired from coaching after the 1983 season and spent two years as Director of Alumni Affairs before taking over as Director of Athletics, serving in that role from 1985 to 1991. His football jersey, number 66, was retired in 1990, one of only three jerseys retired in our football history. In 1991, the Western Kentucky University Athletic Hall of Fame and the field at L.T. Smith Stadium were named in his honor and will be playing on Fikes Field again tomorrow. Coach Fikes was leading the Hilltopper football team when I was a student at Western, and I took great pride in capturing the spirit that he helped create throughout our campus, and I will always remember uh, and there were many, many victories during that period of time, but who of us will ever forget uh, the houndstooth hat uh, going into the air when he knew victory was well in hand. A couple times it got a little shaky there after the hat went in the air, but it was always uh, a predictor of the outcome, and what a great uh, tradition that was. Uh, later, we both had the opportunity to serve in alumni affairs. Uh, Coach Fikes here at Western, and I was at Southern Methodist University at the time. We attended professional meetings together, and a special moment for both of us. I've known Coach Fikes for 35 years. He is indeed the embodiment of the Western spirit. Uh, so if you'll join uh, me and move your attention to our screens, let's uh, learn a little bit more about Coach Jimmy Fikes. Jimmy Fikes is a champion of firsts. No stranger to success, Western Kentucky University's winningest coach has worn many hats during his time on the Hill from student athlete, to administrator, to coach, to alumni director, to a modern day icon of the Western experience. The year was 1949 when James W. Fikes left his home in Henderson, Kentucky, headed for the hill. By 1952, the WKU quarterback had become the first hilltopper ever honored as an All-American. 
That same year, he guided the team to the first OVC football championship and Western's first appearance in a bowl game, the Refrigerator Bowl in Evansville, Indiana. In 1953, the NFL's New York Giants came a-calling, but Fikes' professional dreams were dashed when a preseason injury ended his football playing career. Four years in the Air Force, and Fikes found himself back at Western, this time as an assistant football coach. In 1968, he took over as head coach, a position he held through 1983. When I took the job as head football coach, a lot of responsibilities came with that, and, and I guess my association with the football program, I enjoyed uh, as much or more than any of it that I did. He was a very detail-oriented man. He is a very organized individual. Um, and he's a people person and, and I think he really cared about Western and he cared about uh, the players that play for Western. So I think all those combination of things um, made him the successful coach that he is. I've always thought talent was key to success at anything and uh, I think in order to, for the student athlete to be successful he needs to be in a program that can capitalize on his success, give him a chance to use his talents because talent is the basis for success. Attitude, hard work, all those uh, tremendous things are also important. But it all comes down to, to having some ability to accomplish. Now, I think athletics uh, is erroneous in claiming that we develop a lot of things. I think we screen a lot and we eliminate uh, uh, a lot of people who don't have the attitude or the ability to, to, be a, to accomplish. But it's very difficult for you to, to make the athlete. I think they come to you. Fikes led his team to six OVC championships and as national runners-up in NCAA Division II action in 1973 and 1975. Fikes himself was named OVC Coach of the Year three times, a career that was marked by many notable moments. Well, I've got to think about the missed field goal against Eastern on national television, ABC, and the Eastern defensive end roughed our kicker, and we got another shot at it, and we hit the field goal that time, and we win by one or two. I forget the score, but we won by one or two points on national television, and uh, that was uh, a high point for us. Going to the national championships twice was, uh, was a, a good experience for me and for the university. Jimmy Fikes retired from coaching in 1983. He spent two years in alumni affairs and served as athletic director until his retirement in 1991. He's a member of the WKU Athletic Hall of Fame and his name graces the field at L.T. Smith Stadium, a true legacy to this team player. I'm very proud to be known as a company man, that, uh, that, I, that I love this university and that I was willing to do whatever uh, needed to be done for its success. 2003 Hall of Distinguished Alumni Honoree, Jimmy Fikes. Dr. Ransdell, Alumni Association President Donna Harmon, my thanks to WKYU TV for that video presentation, to Director Cheryl Beckley, Barbara Deeb, and your staff. It was an outstanding job, especially considering what you had to work with. <laughs> I'm deeply grateful to those who served on the nominations screening committee, to those who provided letters of support in my behalf, and to our alumni board of directors for my election into our Hall of Distinguished Alumni. There are many more deserving, but there are none more grateful. I'm especially honored to be inducted with boss Dave Whitaker, and Dr. Doris Hutchison and extend my congratulations to them. With all the elaborate descriptive words available to express my humble astonishment at this honor, I'm left with three. Unbelievable. Wow. And thanks. From the time in 1949 when I was directed to Bowling Green and Western Kentucky State College by my high school teacher coach, Turner Elrod, a Western graduate and himself a member of our Athletics Hall of Fame, when I was given the opportunity to join the football staff and faculty by Dr. Kelly Thompson, who then selected me to succeed my mentor, Nick Dennis, as the head football coach. To this moment of this high honor, my lifetime at Western has been an exciting adventure and a great blessing for which I am deeply grateful and thankful. My experiences in athletics have emphasized the point 
that all individual accomplishments are recognized and, and come from the accomplishments of a team and the invaluable efforts and input of others. If you would please permit me to recognize and acknowledge several individuals and groups whose shoulders I have stood on all these years. It's said that you save the best for last, but I would prefer to put the most important first. The person who's been the most important part of my life since meeting her in 1949, and with whom I've celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary this past May. The one who took care of all the matters of our family and whose guidance and support were unfailing. My wife, Frankie Biggers Pike. Frankie. I'm happy that our two sons were able to be here for this event. Both are Western Kentucky University graduates. Dr. Jim B. Fikes is a professor of biophysics at the Medical College of, of Wisconsin in Milwaukee. And Dr. Jeff Fikes of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, it's, there's another Richmond we don't talk about in the Fikes family. <laughs> Jeff is a forensic clinical psychologist at the Central State Hospital in Petersburg, Virginia. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm also grateful that my brother and his wife from Henderson are able to share this occasion with me. Al Jay is a Western graduate, retired teacher coach from Henderson County High School, who's given his unwavering love and support all these many years. Al Jay, Betty, thank you for being here. <laughs> Seated at our table is a man who's been invaluable as a colleague and a friend. Coach Butch Gilbert represents all the former coaches and players and teammates who've been so important in our efforts. Butch, I appreciate you and Daphne so much. There's a special group of former players I must take time to recognize. My teammates from that 1952 team are here as a group, led by our captains Willard Price and Willard, Willie Watson. And it also includes, as we've indicated, our 1997 Hall of Distinguished Alumni, Bill Edwards, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Edwards, Bill, you're over there. <laughs> Bill Whitey Sanders. Uh, they have come from New York to Florida and points in between. And fellas, I appreciate uh, your time and effort to be here. Thank you so very much. I thank all those who sponsored the tables, as Donald had indicated, but there's one group, obviously, that's close to my heart. And if you noticed on the back, there's a table sponsored by Western Kentucky University football. And I think that's so great. And I appreciate Coach Elson and, and the staff that are here, and we wish you good luck. Do uh, Dave, would you stand up? David Elson, our head football coach. <laughs> Would all of the former football players coaches, managers, trainers, Dr. Carol Brooks, who was our longtime team doctor, and Dr. Jerry Martin is not able to be here today. But if all of those that are here, if you would stand from all those teams, all the farmer football players, coaches, managers, and trainers, would you all please stand wherever you are, 52 teams. I know Bobby Hobby, captain of 75 teams. These individuals represent those to whom I and the university are eternally indebted and grateful. And I thank you for your being here. You honor Frankie and me with your presence. Dr. Jay Robinson, the pastor of the Trinity Baptist Church in Lexington, Kentucky said, our lives are enriched by interactions with the commi and commitments to others. The places where those relationships are pursued become special to us. I'm very proud of my special place, our university, of what it has been and what it's transforming to be. I accept this recognition on behalf of my family, the former players and coaches and managers and trainers. And I would close by sharing the sage advice of our revered Ed Dillon that he gave with ending all of his talks. I urge you to go to the churches of your choice and send all your boys and girls to Western. Thank you.